So now we're going to reboot into our Raspberry Pi and let's see how the screen resolution looks this time. So the screen resolution looks beautiful. Now we have a full screen here, which is very nice to work with. So the next step we are going to do is see if our camera module has been installed properly. So for that, we are going to click on this terminal. And first we are going to say ls to see which directory we are in. So that ls command is list directory. And it shows all the directories under where we are. And we are just going to go to pictures. So we are going to do cd pictures. What this is telling uh, the Pi to do is just go into the pictures directory, which is change directory to pictures. And now we are going to give this command called raspy still o pick one dot jpg and what this command is going to do is uh, try to take a picture of us using the camera so let's focus back in on our raspberry pi and see what happens see a little light lit up in there so it's taking our picture Okay, now let me take one more picture just because I feel I wasn't smiling. So we need to be smiling when we do this because we have done quite a lot today. So let's see. Okay, now we're gonna browse to the directory and check out our picture. So we do this by actually clicking this file manager icon up here and let's go to our pictures directory and see our two pictures so wow this is the first picture I'm not sure if I was smiling okay I was trying to smile there now let's see picture two uh, not too different let's try to expand one of these and see the picture quality so you see like the picture quality is pretty good uh, so the next steps for us are to install uh, the motion detection software and I'll show you how to install this software or how I install this software so that you're going to be able to use the full capability of this software. Uh, so we're going to sign off for now and then we'll continue in part two with the installation of the motion detection software and uh, go from there.